The Aswan High Dam is a solid rib of man-made mountain that stretches 11,811 feet, or the distance of more than two miles across the Nile. The base of the dam alone is 3,280 feet thick, and it contains 17 times the volume of the material used to build the Great Pyramids of Giza. The Aswan Dam is a huge uh, construction or mound of earth and rock filled. It's called the High Dam because there were previous dams that have been built there. And so in building this new structure, which is going to be much larger and to be used for hydroelectricity, it gets attached the name High Dam. Aswan Dam provides about one-ninth the power that the Itaipu Dam produces, but it's still a huge amount of power that supplies most of Egypt with its energy. But Aswan's awesome scale and capabilities are shrouded in subtle subterfuge. It purposely blends into the desert environment. In fact, unless you were standing right on top of it, you might not ever know it was there. For many Egyptians today, it's hard to imagine life without the Aswan. Planning for the Aswan Dam kicked into high gear in the 1950s as a way of using the flow of the Nile, not just for irrigation, but also for hydroelectric power production. It was going to require a much larger, higher dam than the structures that had been built by the British engineers previously. The problem was, the new dam would cost an economy crushing $1 billion to erect, and Egypt simply didn't have it. But it wasn't Egypt's American allies that came to the rescue. The secret is that the former Soviet Union bankrolled and helped build the Aswan High Dam. The project very much a part of sort of Cold War politics in the Mideast. This is a way that the Soviet Union provided, you know, the financing and the support to the Egyptians to build the dam as a way of getting into their good graces. A huge groundbreaking ceremony with Russian and Egyptian officials took place in 1960. Everyone observed as President Nasser pushed a button in setting off the first round of explosions. After 10 years of around-the-clock working, the high dam was inaugurated by Anwar Sadat in 1971. However, as a tribute, the reservoir it created was named for a former president of Egypt, Gamal Abdel Nasser. Head to the entrance of the High Dam today and you'll see a structure with a secret. A monument dedicated to the Russian people and their aid in building Egypt's Aswan High Dam. However, building the dam up required taking some famous artifacts down. It's close to many Egyptian ruins which had to be moved. In the 1960s, a major international effort was made to, to take ancient Egyptian statuary and remove them from the reservoir site. Including the ancient temples of Abu Simbel and Philae, which would have been drowned by the reservoir created by the dam. Both of these temples can now be visited by tourists today because of those efforts. Yeah. 
Much like Egypt's pyramids, the Aswan High Dam is yet another structure that will surely span the ages and capture the imagination for generations to come.